In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a website using the Authority Pro theme. This is a child theme of the Genesis framework, is super easy to, to use, super easy to load if you have experience with WordPress at some level. If you don't have any experience with WordPress, this is also gonna work great for you. You'll just need to follow the step-by-step -step guide that comes with your theme. So we're gonna do this today. I set this up this morning in 30 minutes. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to install this theme. Hey, I'm Lori Ballin, and I am a six-figure affiliate marketer. I'm a real estate agent out here in Las Vegas, Nevada. I build my own content websites and monetize them in various ways, including display ads, affiliate marketing, and um, through partnerships that I have created with other businesses. So what I do is I work on WordPress, and I'm always changing up my themes, always. Somebody will say, hey, here's a, new, here's a new theme. It's lightning fast. It's got this, this, and I'll go throw it on my website. So I am not afraid to break things. I'm not afraid to play with things, and I love testing themes. So I personally installed the Authority Pro theme this morning, and check it out. I put this on in 30 minutes, okay? So I've got calls to action to my beginner's guide to affiliate marketing, testimonials, um, uh, take my free courses at Ballon Academy, more testimonials, join my Facebook community, and then I've got the blog, and then I had a menu at the top, the header menu, I have a header menu, a footer menu down here that's different than the header, and then I also have this call to action up here. Need a website or blog content? Call my brothers, Jeff and Paul at balanbrands.com. So this was super easy and I'm, we're gonna go ahead and go through those steps now. Uh, let me just say this in advance that sometimes people will watch my videos totally prepared to build something themselves and then they will get stuck somewhere. So I wanna let you know that my brothers, Jeff and Paul over at Balan brands.com they actually are wordpress developers so they can build this whole thing for you if you would like to just have it done they also integrate third-party tools like crm sales funnels uh, they write blog content they run facebook ads so if you're in, in in the need of any of that marketing stuff talk to them but let's just say you start building this and you get part way through and you still need somebody to jump in. They can jump in for an hour. They can jump in to catch something that you're, maybe you're having problems setting up the homepage. You just want somebody to finish that for you. So check that out. So I want you to stay with me today and not get overwhelmed because you know that you have support if you need it. Okay. That's first and foremost. I build my own. And so I want to, I want to empower you to be able to do that if you think that's something that you can do. Okay. So my review of the authority pro theme i will let you know this um it is simple it is clean and it's fast even with wordpress plugins i have a bunch of plugins on this site this is not a brand new site that i'm playing with um behind the scenes behind this theme the theme is the design for those of you that don't know but behind the design i actually have lots of posts and pages and widgets and plugins and all those fancy WordPress terms happening back there. And all of those things can slow down a website, okay? I actually have quite a bit um, of plugins on this website itself. So as a matter of fact, let me log in really quick. I'm gonna show you this. Okay, so I came on, I logged in and I came over here to the plugin page so that you can see that I do have other plugins on this website as well including an SEO plugin, forms plugin, an affiliate disclosure, um, uh, an affiliate linking tool, table of contents, an internal linking tool. So I have quite a few um, plugins in here and I went ahead and installed the theme and then I did a page speed test today and this is where this theme came up. Even with all of that, we got an A grade 90% performance, 90% structure, 1.3 second page load, okay? I just picked a random page on here that had quite a bit of content and ran it through the, the speed test to check it. Um, it is going to depend on what else you put on the website. The your, How fast your, your theme loads is one thing, but then as soon as you start messing around with it and putting a bunch of stuff on there, 
that changes it. What plugins you put in change it. So I'm always, I like to start from scratch, but I went ahead and did this one on an existing website and we still got a, a passing grade. Um, Core Web Vitals is a whole nother uh, conversation I'm not gonna get into today, but we loaded pretty fast and it looks beautiful on mobile. Now, if you happen to be watching this video after today, I may have already switched the theme because I, I use this website to test different themes. So if you run it through a test, it, it may not look the same because I may have a different theme on it. So best thing for you to do is test your own once you put it on there. And I always suggest installing your theme and then running a speed test. And then if you pass the speed test with your theme, but then you start putting plugins on there, test it again. If they're slow, you may have an issue actually with your plugins, okay? So that, those are other videos on how to optimize those. There's things that you can help um, optimize your images. There's plugins that'll help with caching on your website. But the theme itself, the Authority Pro theme is clean, simple. I appreciate all the extra white space. I'm just gonna tell you that's one of my favorite things about this theme. It's easy on the eyes, and that's what we want when somebody is, is looking at our website. We want it to be easy on the eyes and have a nice flow. Now, another thing that I like about this website is up here, this call to action, okay? So uh, a lot of you guys that follow me are real estate agents, and this could be an excellent site for a real estate agent if you're gonna put yourself front and center. So maybe you wanna establish authority on your real estate website and the homepage is gonna be all about you, the realtor. And then you're gonna have a call to action to search homes or get your home value. You might put your contact information up here. Need to buy or sell? Call, and, call or text and then you have your phone number. So no matter where they are on the website, they're always gonna be able to catch your contact info, okay? So that's cool and this is um, closable if the uh, visitor wants to close it and it's also removable and editable by you. So if you don't like it up there, you don't have to have it up there. Now, the uh, this theme is a child theme of the Genesis framework, okay? So a lot of themes have a, have a framework and then they have child themes that are going to change the look and the feel and the design. So Genesis happens to make a bunch of different uh, child themes for food bloggers, for authors, for speakers, for real estate, for restaurants, okay? So Genesis is very well known. So that's another reason why I like this theme. Um, they're not as, a, they can be used with page builders as well. So if you're using uh, Elementor Pro or uh, Beaver Builder or Divi or any of those types of things, you can use those. But remember, those tend to slow down your website. So you're going to want to make sure you install the theme first, then go into your page builders and start checking those out. Okay. Um, but everything I did here on the homepage is actually out of the box. So I'm going to show you, we can set that up quite simply and then make some very simple changes. Okay. So what I'm going to do really quick is we're going to just put this on a, um, on another website that I have so that you can see exactly how we can install it on top of another theme, or we can start from scratch. Okay, we will use another one of my demo websites to put the theme on. Neither of these websites am I using actively, so they work great for these demos, okay? Now, this theme is absolutely beautiful, too. This is another of the Genesis themes, and this one is called Essence Pro, also gorgeous. And again, my brothers over at Balan Brands, they build all of these, and they've done some customization work for me here or there, too, that have made the boxes bigger or the font a little bigger, that type of thing. So if you talk to them, you can just let them know which of these general designs you like and they can create that for you, okay? But we're gonna go ahead and strip this right now and we're gonna throw this other theme on there so that you can see how it works to actually put it on top of a website that you already have. Now, let's start with if you don't have a website, I'm gonna show you just really quickly how to get it if you don't have a WordPress website. My suggestion is my brothers over here, I'm going to show you them again at balanbrands.com. They actually have some great hosting plans and I begged them to uh, create this fantastic page for us so that you can see how easy it is to get started with their hosting plans. 
So basically, if you get one WordPress platform, um, not all decked out, just the basic framework, which is what we're going to put the theme on, it's $19 a month. You get nightly backups, regular virus scanning, your SSL certificate, free, free website migration, 5,000 monthly visits, 5 gigabytes of storage, and 20 gigabytes of bandwidth. For anybody who's starting a brand new website, this is going to be fine. Then you can upgrade as you start getting into the larger files when you've got a whole bunch of images or video or media. You might end up needing more than you can upgrade. Okay, so they've got these uh, three packages here and here's how this works. You head over here to Balan Brands. You're gonna click on Buy Standard Now, unless you think you want the higher one. And then these are my brothers. And then you can see here, this plan provides one WordPress install with nightly backups, regular virus scanning. So it'll be $19 a month. Okay, you set this all up. And then within 24 hours, they're gonna deliver your WordPress platform. And then you can um, start adding your theme and customizing. And they're nice, there's a lot of hosting companies out there. But the nice thing is now you've got Jeff and Paul as your support team. Now you've got them, they, you still have to hire them, but if you're stuck somewhere, or you just need help with your WordPress website, this is gonna be your go-to team. And then I'm the, I teach and train. Their company, I teach and train how to use things. So it's a nice, it's a nice combination, okay? Once you do that, your next step is to go over and grab your theme, okay? I'm gonna put a link in the video below so that you can check this out. This is the Studio Press website, okay? And as you can see, there's all kinds of themes on here, but I do wanna remind you that you're gonna to have to go in and customize some things and some themes are harder than others. Like this refined theme is absolutely gorgeous. I love that one uh, for the feminine side bloggers. Um, but it definitely has a lot more intricate pieces, okay? So I've played with a lot of these and done demos on them. But today what we're gonna focus on is the Authority Pro. And if there's another one you wanna see, let me know in the comments below, okay? And I'll, I'll check, out, check that out for us. Okay, so we want the Authority Pro. So let me see where they put that one. Authority, there it is right here, Authority Pro. Okay, so you can just scroll down until you see Authority Pro, or you can type it in, do a, um, Command F so that you can find it there. So we're gonna click on Studio Press Authority Pro. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna click Get This Theme and More with Genesis Pro. Down here, the Get This Theme for free is if you end up choosing hosting through WP Engine, which is a parent company that owns Studio Press. And if you wind up going that route, that's fine. You can choose whatever host you want. There's GoDaddy and Bluehost and HostGator and oh my goodness, all the things, right? I was just suggesting my brothers again so that you've got that support team. And of course, because they're my brothers. Okay, so get this theme and more with Genesis Pro. So you're gonna click there and you're gonna be able to go ahead and sign up with Genesis Pro and get your um, custom blocks and everything else that you need. Now, it's possible that you can ask Jeff and Paul about getting the theme there as well. My suggestion is that you call them and talk to them about, um, about their plans and about their themes. And I'm not sure if they have a, a way to grab that Authority Pro theme from them without having to sign up for the year of Studio Press themes. But if you're gonna use the generate blocks and, and the different features, then it might be worth going ahead and picking a one year um, access here. To, and then you get access to all the themes. So it's a subscription base rather than just a, a one-off purchase of the theme, okay? All right, then once you have the theme, you're going to be able to download it, okay? And when you download it, after you make your purchase, it's going to um, send you a, to a page that has all the themes. And then you're just going to click it to download it. As a matter of fact, I think I can get to it. Here it is. So it'll look like this. So I have a membership. So it'll look like this. And then down here, here's all your themes. So you need to download two things. The first thing is the Genesis framework. So you're just going to click on this little download button and you will download that wherever you want to your computer. 
put that in documents and then you're going to download authority pro so i'm going to go ahead and download that one as well okay we need both of those files to upload this theme now next to this download there is a setup instructions um, ebook or website as well i think you can print it also okay so here's our help guide you see so you start here and then you can go step by step pre-installation installing your themes importing sample content the regenerate thumbnails plugin if you're putting this on top of another website um, your site identity your colors your settings your menus your widgets your home page settings theme settings all of this is right here how to set up your home page then how to set up your sidebar um, and footer widget page templates and then here's all your extras so you don't feel like when we get off the off the phone when we get off the video today that you don't have a go-to because this is going to be your best friend here as well besides paul and jeff um, is to be able to go in and click on any of these and learn exactly what you need to do with screenshots of how to set up your menu okay so that is another plus with the Genesis framework and their themes is that every single theme has step by step by step with images with screenshots on exactly how to do it okay so that's another plus all right now our next step is to install it so we're going to go here and again remember i am on um, a website that's already in existence where if you were getting a new one now you will follow these same steps you just won't have any of this uh, other stuff on there already okay so i'm going to go over here and i'm just going to go ahead and go to the themes page okay another way to get here if you're a first timer to wordpress so you just scroll down here and you're going to go to um, appearance when you click on appearance then you can get to the themes customize widgets menus header and the theme file okay so right now you can see I have essence pro installed just like I said I already have the Genesis framework um, so I do not have to install that again but if I needed to install it let's just say you're here for the first time just click on add new theme mm -hmm. then you're gonna go to upload theme and then you're going to go to choose file and you're going to go ahead over to that genesis 3.5 or whatever yours is at the time and then you're going to click open okay do not unzip that file you're going to load the whole zip file in there okay that'll put that in there and then there's a little button that says activate you're going to click activate so that's step one now i already have genesis so the next step is to add the agent I'm sorry, agent, the authority pro theme. So let's go to choose file. We're going to go to documents, authority pro, open, install now. Now it's going to install this, the child theme. Okay. And then once that's installed, we're going to head over to the one click install. So you can see that it's working up here. There's a little wheel, a circle that's spinning up there as it's installing. Generally, that loads much faster, but today it's been a little squirrely with our internet here. I bought in a brand new construction home in a tiny little town outside of Las Vegas, and internet's not always up to speed. Okay, so now that's installed, now we're going to click Activate. There we go. Okay. Man, when I was first building websites, we didn't have anything like this one-click install. It was so clunky and took forever. So now you're going to do set up your website. And that is going to install your recommended plugins, Genesis Blocks, Genesis eNews Extended, and WP Forms Lite. And then it's going to install the demo content. So we're going to click set up your website. And there's that little circle again, letting us know that it is in fact installing our recommended plugins and Genesis Blocks, eNews, and w WP Forms Lite. That's gonna allow you, allow you to um, sign up subscribers to your website and do other things with forms. Okay, all done. Now we're gonna click View Your Homepage. Look at that. Tell me that's not amazing. Oh, so cool. 
Okay, so now this is the demo content. So remember, this is, if you take a look at what's installed, here's what I did with mine. So I changed the heading, the paragraph, and put a picture of me. And then we go down here to start here, and I change that call to action. I change that image. So let me just give you a quick, show you how easy this is to do. I'm gonna to go to edit page. Now remember, you're gonna have this handbook that you can go through or this web help file, okay? Help website that you can go through if you get stuck on any of the elements. So we're gonna to go to edit page. Let me get out of the code editor here. Okay, there we go, okay. So let's just say we're gonna make this for real estate, okay? So I could say, hi, I'm Lori. My team is here to help you buy or sell a house. Okay, I'm just being really simple right now. And then here, this is a call to action for them to subscribe. So right here, if I wanted to, I can pitch my newsletter or a free guide or a home buyer's kit or a home value estimate or whatever I want on this homepage. Now you can go in and read all about how to configure the settings if this is gonna be a subscriber form. But let's just say um, it's not gonna be a subscriber form. We can click remove the email newsletter and instead we could say get instant free access to all homes that were just listed in the greater Las Vegas area, okay? Now, we can put anything we want down here, like a button, okay? So let's just say we're gonna put buttons in there, and then you could say, shop all real estate. And then we would click a link, and we would type in whatever the link is that takes them to that to, to shop all homes. Now here, we're gonna replace our picture. So we just click on it, replace, and then I'm gonna to go to the media library and see if I already have a picture of myself anywhere. Okay, let me do this instead. Okay, I'm just gonna grab that one so that you can see the difference. So see how that was made it horizontal. So what we want to do is we want to choose a an image that's more vertical. You could use that. You also could make that a circle. You can you can play with the sizing and the shape of this however you want. Now we can make that a little bit longer. I haven't played too much with this new drag and drop with the images. Okay? But it's better to keep that as a long one. And let me see if I have, I just got a bunch of pictures taken. Uh, we'll go to images. Okay, let's just go with this one for now so that you can see the difference. Okay, there you go, much better. Okay, so then here, all you have to do to change anything on the page is just click on it, and then you'll see your options. That little pencil there is what takes you to changing text. Lori Ballin, Realtor. And we're gonna do the option R to put the little trademark there. And then wherever you see this hashtag, that's where you replace a URL. Now you can just start typing in a URL. So if they click on it, it goes somewhere, or you can choose a page that's on your website. So if you already have a page shop for homes, you could just type that in, it'll find the page for you, and then you can select it there, okay? So same thing with each and every item here. You can replace that icon, you can add a link, okay? You can change this text here, and then just go down each section. So now maybe we wanna say, 
Okay, increase your influence. I'm gonna say increase your home value or your sales price, okay? And then here, we're gonna say get a free home value estimate. And then in this description here, I'm gonna put something about, uh, something about um, in 15 seconds or less, take the instant home value estimate and get the price of your home immediately. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna link this here to my page that has the home value estimate. So for example, this is my actual real estate website. Pretend we're building on this one here. And these are the ones that my brothers build, Jeff and Paul of real estate websites. So let's just say here, I've got a home value page, for example. And on that home value page, it's got an instant home value calculator they can fill out. So all I have to do is take that link and right here, hover over the button. And instead of that hashtag, I'm just gonna paste in that link. And if I wanted to open a new tab, I can do that. Okay, and then here I could put a picture, I could do a screenshot, I could actually do something like this and take a screenshot even of that home value calculator or the form or what I like, I use Canva and I could go over to Canva and we'll do a, um, let's do, I was just trying to think of what size I wanted, but it's it's okay. Let's just do a Pinterest pin size for now. I'd have to go back and look and see the exact image size of that image. Oh, you know what? Hold on, I can do it right here. So I'm gonna go to replace open media library. And my picture was a 400 by 400. Okay, let's just try this one. And then over here, what we do is we go to elements and I'm gonna type in a house. I'll put a link to Canva Pro down there too. That's the one I use. I do have affiliate relationships with the software that I use and teach. So I do benefit if you wind up making a purchase through one of my links. Okay, so then I would just play around with this and find one that looks, that you like, that you think looks good. Okay, and play around with the different sizes of images. You also could put another picture of yourself. You could have a picture of you standing in a house. Oh, let me see that, standing in a house. Let me see if I can find a demo here. <laughs> something like something like this, but an actual real estate agent, right? So you can drag that in and put that in there and kind of size that up, however. Anyway, you get the idea there, right? That's what you can do. That's That one's more like it. Then you would download it. And then you would come back to your theme and you would just upload it wherever that call to action is. Okay, I think we are right here. I'm just gonna put myself in there again. So you get the idea, okay? So you can play around with those pictures if you like them square, if you like them longer, they all work. It just changes the layout just a little bit, but you will notice on mobile, it shrinks them all down to a standard size anyway. It's really only on desktop that's gonna make that big of a difference, okay? Now down here, these are blogs that I have already posted on, I've already published on this website, so that's why those are showing up. If you don't have any blogs yet, you might have some demo content down there that you'll just replace with when your blog comes up, okay? And then because I have an old theme here, I would want to install the plugin called Regenerate Thumbnails, it's free, and then that will resize these images to the appropriate size for this theme. That's another beautiful thing is the instant ability to resize all the thumbnails so that they're the right images. Okay, now let's also take a look really quick. Um, you have the, these layouts, okay? So you have, whoops, let me click that again. On each page, you have you can put in this full page layout and design a page. You have sections. So these are sections are really nice to be able to add these calls to action. I keep losing my there we go. You can add media and text. You can add team members to your page. You can add a map. Again, real estate agents, these are perfect for you. 
you have um, testimonials, you have an about section. So you literally can just click on that and it will add it right there to the page. And then all you have to do is go over each item and customize it by clicking on it and just changing the text so that it works for you. So we do another one down here. We're just going to go to layouts. Give that a second to pop up. Go to sections. Let's just say you want to add team members. You can click team members. There you go. Drop them in. Then all you have to do is change the picture by clicking on it, uploading a picture of your team member, and then you just replace it by popping that in there. So I give that makes this seem also that much better is because it has all of that flexibility to add all of these really beautiful um, sections to your page without messing everything up. Um, also, this theme is Gutenberg block enabled. Okay. Now I love Gutenberg blocks. Some people have not adopted the Gutenberg blocks yet and are still stuck with the classic editor because they say there's a learning curve with the blocks. Let me just show you a couple things. If we click on this little plus sign, all of these options appear here. All of these blocks show up that you can use on your web page. You can add uh, posts, you can add quotes, you can add buttons, you can add images, you can add headings, you can add tables, um, a profile box, testimonials. Um, I mean, it just goes on and on and on. And what's really cool, my, one of my favorite uses for this is the call to action, which is right here, okay? So before I was showing you these layouts, these layouts will let you drop in those sections. So if it's one of those sections that's really simple, that's fantastic, okay? The bad thing about it, the bad thing about using the Genesis, um, the Studio Press call to, uh, layouts, I'm sorry, the layouts up here, is if you ever change your theme, those layouts are gonna break. Where if you use the Gutenberg blocks, they will always work on WordPress, okay? So themes change the design significantly. So whenever you're building something with all of the theme features, and then you go decide to put another theme on it that's not Studio Press or not um, generate, uh, generate press. Sorry, I'm getting my themes mixed up. There's so many that are similar. If it's not a Genesis framework, then those layouts might break. You might have to go in and change them. Or if you're using the blocks, they're going to work across your various themes because they work with all WordPress websites. Okay. That have the jet that have the Gutenberg blocks enabled, which all WordPress websites now come with that automatically. Um, so what I do is these calls to actions, I might put something like, um, free, oops, this is one of my favorite features, free home buyer's guide. And then here you're just going to yada, yada, yada your sales pitch. And then here button text, get my home value. And then here you're going to put in the link to the home value for example, okay? Now, once you create this and get it the way you like it, you can come up to these three dots and you can click to click on add to reusable blocks. It will now, instant home value, it will now save that block to your reusable blocks library. Now, anytime you wanna drop in that call to action on any blog post or on any page, on any of your landing pages on here, on your homepage, wherever, you can now drop that in. And here's even the best part of that. If you ever need to make a change to that call to action, like let's say you're, uh, the link changed for some reason, you're now using a different home value tool or you wanna send them to a different page, you can change it on one block and then save it and it'll update on all of your pages. So if you're an affiliate marketer, oh my gosh, this is huge. This is this was one of the reasons why I loved it so much because any of us that are in affiliate marketing know that affiliate links change a lot. You know, somebody will be a part of this network and they'll leave that network and they'll go to another network and then all of a sudden all of our links are broken. Where here you can change it once and it'll change it all throughout your website if you use these blocks. And that's just one little tiny example of why this is so absolutely amazing, okay? 
Now, once you have customized your home page, your next step is going to be to come over here. I'm just going to um, leave that for now. And then we're going to come over here and I'm going to go to uh, Genesis theme settings. Okay. Now, um, the pro, one of the top pros of this theme is that it's so simple. One of the cons with this theme is that it's limited. You, without getting into CSS and custom design, there's not a whole lot of design elements that you're going to change. So again, that's a good thing and a bad thing, depending on who you are and what you want to do with it. Okay, it's still completely customizable if you know CSS or you have a designer, but not out of the box can you change a bunch of colors and things, but you can change your main color. So here you can set your updates to update automatically when the theme has new updates. And then you have your site layout. Now you have um, options here. You can have your content with a primary sidebar. So let me show you an example. Um, let's go to a blog page here. Okay, so this is the blog page right now with a sidebar. Now, my sidebar doesn't have anything hardly in it. You can completely customize the sidebar. So many options. You can put in recent posts with images. You can put in subscriber forms. You can put in ads if you're monetizing your website. So I don't have anything fancy there right now. But what you can do is you can change this to primary sidebar and content. And then what it'll, it'll do is switch the sidebar to the left, or you can do full width content and it will look full width. Now let me show you on their demo because my old theme is messing it up just a little bit. I want you to see what it looks like on theirs. Hold on. I'm going to go back to a, 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 a really clean look so that you can see. Okay. So we want the demo. Here we go. Okay. So here's the demo. You can see. It looks like mine. Now let's go to one of their blog posts here. Okay. So this is a much better version of how that would look if you had a subscriber form here. The picture is the right size, so it's full width. And then we have the blog post here. And then on the right hand side, you can put whatever you want there. Okay. Other layouts would be full width. And this is what their full width would look like. You know, it's really, I'm on a, a huge screen, so it's a, a little harder to tell. But if I were to, um, let me see if I can just shrink this. You can see what it would look like on a mobile device. There you go. Okay. So this is what it would look like on mobile. Gorgeous. And then here's the menu. Let's, so the sidebar now is no longer on the right. It pushed the sidebar elements to the bottom of the blog post, which is what they always do. Okay. So you're just getting a quick idea there of your different options. So going back to customization, you can choose what you want there. Then your next step is breadcrumbs. I always activate breadcrumbs on my blog post pages and on my regular pages. And this is breadcrumbs up here. What it does is it basically lets the user see where they are now and then what category that's under. That's a subcategory that's actually under the affiliate programs category, which is under the affiliate income category, which it goes back to the homepage. This, I love this and I track what my users do and I can see with heat maps and whatnot um, that this gets a lot of click. Any of my tables on the top categories, tags, any of these that help them navigate, they will tend to go to those before they click on the menu. So the, these breadcrumbs are nice for that uh, fact. They're also really nice because they're good for SEO because it helps Google determine the relationship between um, posts and categories and between pages. So I like to activate breadcrumbs and that's another plus with this theme is that they're ready to go there. You can turn on or off your comments and your track back, track back posts if another um, blog links to yours and you want to be notified. You can turn those off. You have your singular content meta up here. Um, you can choose what your blog pages look like. Your, your blog pages are called archives. So how many old blog posts do you want to show up on those archive pages? Like something like this. This is going to be an archive page right here. So how do you want your blog post to look? 
Do you want to, um, what size do you want your images to be? Do you want it to have an excerpt? Um, I've seen some themes that are a lot more robust than this and have a lot more options. But again, for most people, you don't actually even want more options because it's just gonna complicate things. Um, so if you're looking for a more simple theme, this one's definitely for you. And then here you can set up your footer. So this is your footer down here. So you can customize what, you're, what you want your footer to look like. And then we have header and footer scripts. So that's where you're gonna put in any codes that you need for Pinterest verification or Bing or Google or Yahoo or whatever you're doing that you might need to put a header or footer script in there. You can do that there as well. So it's really very simple. There's some basic theme SEO settings, your title, homepage information, indexing information, but this is not an SEO tool. It's not like your Yoast SEO plugin. It's just some basic SEO features, okay? When you're done with everything here, then you can click publish. And then the last thing I wanna show you that you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need, oh, it was already there. My bad, I exited, that's okay. We go to appearance and we're gonna go to menus. And this is where you choose what menu shows up here like this. Let's go to their demo. See this menu, home, sample, layouts, our shop. And then down here, this is the footer menu. So you have a footer menu and you have a header menu. And you're able to go in and build those menus and say, this is where I want that menu to show up, okay? So it would look I have lots of menus in here already, so I'm choosing that my top menu is my primary nav nav navigation. And if I click on manage locations, then I can say which menu goes in the header, which menu goes in the footer, okay? I've got another video where I show you how to do menu, how to, how to create menus or a little more comprehensive. But again, your authority pro, if you go down here and you just click on menus, there's uh, screenshots all the way through that told, show you how to um, customize your menus and how to choose where they go. Doesn't look like they tell you how to create a menu. So I'll have to link my video for you um, for that option. And then you have your sidebar and your sidebar, you're gonna customize right here by clicking on widgets. And then this is your primary sidebar here. So we have a search box, we have custom HTML, we have our navigation menu, and we have search. And anything else that I want in the sidebar, I can just click on it and I can drag it in and it will then be in the sidebar. We also have a footer section and an after entry section that'll show up on every page. So if I have a subscriber form or something, I can post that in here. I know it looks funny because we're just doing the drag and drop basic editor. But if you actually wanted to customize this up here in the customize option, you can see this, um, oh, not on this one. Some themes you can build right here from the widget section and this one's not gonna let us do that. So we would just build it from that sidebar. So what I always do is I drag everything over and then I hit preview, visit site, and then I take a look at what it looks like with that sidebar and that helps me build it a little bit. So overall, this is how all of the, the Genesis framework um, websites work. Once you know one, once you figure out how that sidebar works and the menu works and the after entry and the footer and the header, all of those themes are gonna look the same. So with, Gen with um, Studio Press, it's a one year membership, I believe it is, and you get access to all of those themes um, when you use them. And depending on who your host is, you might be able to get the theme from them as well. And again, check with my brothers on that to see if they have the, um, if they have the theme for installation there. Okay. Um, so that should help get you rolling. If you have any questions, please comment below. My name is Lori Ballin and thank you so much for joining me today.